Hello, and welcome to this Informix HQ demo, which is all about monitoring. So we'll talk about how you can configure Informix HQ to monitor your Informix database server instances. So monitoring an Informix HQ is done by the Informix HQ agent, which is just a lightweight Java program that's designed just to sit alongside your database server in the same host machine as the database server and to just collect data about the database server by querying SysMaster and also to collect data about the operating system on which your database server is running. As the user, you have full control to configure which metrics are monitored by your agent, how frequently that data is collected, and how long the monitoring data is stored in your repository. So an Informix HQ monitoring data is stored in a repository database, which is just some Informix database that you've configured. So you can store your monitoring data local, so it's in the same database that's being monitored, or you can store all of the monitor data for all of your Informix database servers instances into a single central repository. So that configuration is up to you and it's completely flexible. Monitoring data is shown in the Informix HQ UI. So as you're looking at the various pages in the UI, you would start to see line graphs for the various metrics that you're monitoring. So you can see how these values are trending or changing over time. And the monitoring data is also used as inputs into our alerting systems. So you will be able to configure alerting thresholds for the various metrics that you monitor so that you could be alerted if any metric exceeds a certain threshold. So that's a quick overview of a monitoring in Formix HQ. So now let's actually see this in action. So I'm going to go to my browser where I have Informix HQ already up. This particular demo assumes that you already know how to start Informix HQ and to add your database servers and to start your agents. If any of that is not familiar to us, I encourage you to go check out our getting started video. But from here, we'll just assume everything's already set up and your agent is connected. So I have this server that I've called demo server one, and I'm looking at that server's dashboard and I can see that the server is online and I already have my agent connected and I can see some high level metrics about that database server's performance. But I have not configured my agent at all. So while the agent is connected, it is not yet monitoring anything. The only thing the agent monitors by default is the server status. So as soon as you connect the agent, it keeps track of the server status, whether it's online or offline, and it'll keep the Informix HQ server aware of the server status. But that is the only thing that the agent monitors by default. Everything else has to be defined in that server's monitoring profile. So that is what we're going to go ahead and do right now. So the monitoring profile can be found in the monitoring link on the menu. So if you I click on that, as you can see, I have not configured monitoring for my database server. But you will notice that we have this notion of sensors for the database server and inherited sensors. And inherited sensors is sensors that this server inherits from its group. Informix HQ has the notion of groups, so you can manage many Informix database server instances at once. And to make that easier, we have allowed you to create monitoring profiles for your group. I want to quickly show you another way of getting there. If I start from my home page, you'll see I have a demo group with two servers. So if I click on that group, here are my two servers. Um, when I'm looking at this group, I now have a monitoring link. And if I click on it, I am looking here again at this group's monitoring profile. So let's add some sensors for this demo group. So to do that, I use this add sensor button and you will see a list of sensors that Informix HQ provides. So you can read through these descriptions and choose what sensors you want Informix HQ to monitor in your database servers. For this demo, we'll pick a few. Let's monitor checkpoints, chunk writes, LRU writes, and let's scroll down. And we can also pick sequential scans and session statistics. So when I click Add Sensors, you can see that these five sensors that I chosen are now showing in my list. Um, each sensor has a run interval and a data retention interval. The run interval is how often that data is gathered by the agent. And the data retention interval is how long that data will be stored in the repository database before it's purged. 
If you want to change any of these intervals, you can click the edit button. So you can increase or decrease either the run interval or the data retention interval as you see fit. Once you are happy with your changes, you can click save. Assuming you have your agent connected, as soon as you save changes to your monitoring profile, the Informix HQ server will send a message to any and all agents that are affected. So in this case, I have two agents in this group. So Informix HQ is going to send a message to both agents saying, here's the new monitoring profile, and those agents will start up monitoring these sensors um, at the specified run intervals. So if I navigate now to my demo one server, you will notice that the dashboard looks slightly different in places. So I have certain metrics where I am now seeing a line graph. And what's going on is I have sensors running, collecting these various metrics, and I am now seeing the history of these metrics over time. So if I scroll down, not only do I send line graph for checkpoints, but also sequential scans and the number of sessions and session memory, since I had selected the session statistics sensor as well. You will notice that there is a live refresh on these line graphs. So as I sit here and look at the dashboard and the agents collecting more data, I will get a live refresh. So I'm always seeing the latest agent data for all of my sensor metrics. So another thing that you may want to pay attention to is any page in Informix HQ where you see this triangle warning icon in the top corner, that is an indication that the page you are looking at in the UI has the ability to pull in sensor data that you haven't turned on. So if you click on that warning icon, it'll show a pop-up of what sensor data that this page could take advantage of if it's made available. So you can see the list of sensors that it would use if available. And there's a button to do a one-click enable of those sensors if you would like to. Or there's also a link directly to the monitoring page if you want to go do it yourself. So I'm going to just go ahead and click Enable Sensors Now. So what Informix HQ Server is, it took that list of sensors that I didn't have enabled that this page uses, and it just went and added them to the server's monitoring profile. So you notice that I now have a number of other graphs, cache hit rates, and foreground rights, so those are, those are new and there's not a lot of data, but it's live refreshing the data as it comes in so I can start watching those metrics and if they're constant or variable. So let's go back to the monitoring profile page. So this time I'm looking at the monitoring profile page of the demo server one, which is in the demo group. And you'll see that I now I have a number of sensors. So the five that I originally defined for the group are listed here as inherited sensors. So the server, demo server one, inherited these sensors from its group. But I now have this other set of sensors that was the ones where I click the enable sensor now button. So it had added those sensors to this server's monitoring profile. So this is just demonstrating that not only can you have all of your servers inherit their sensors from a group, but you can add individual sensors to servers as well. So this gives you the flexibility to manage monitoring for an entire group of servers, but also to override and customize some of those settings for particular servers if need be. So you can even further customize it by overriding certain sensors. So if I choose to override the checkpoint sensor, it'll add it to my server sensors list, and now I can override some of these properties and say, for this server, I actually want a more frequent data run interval for the sensor, or I could even disable certain sensors. So I could say for this sensor, let me disable the LRU rights sensor. So this is just to demonstrate that we've really tried to make the monitoring system very flexible and customizable. We tried to make it easy to monitor groups, but also to be very specific and customizable about what each individual server monitors. So I did demo the dashboard and how the server dashboard will adapt to any sensors that you have available. There are a number of other pages in Informix HQ where you have the ability to see your monitor data and drill down and really take a look at trends as they're happening over time. So as you get 
days and weeks worth of data, you'll also be able to zoom out and really take a look at what's been happening in the last week or month. So this concludes our monitoring demo for Informix HQ, but monitoring is really only the first step. Once you set up a monitoring profile, you will likely want to look at our alerting system, but we have a separate video for that. So I highly encourage you to check out that video as well. Thank you.